Some of the first gold chains date back to the ancient cultures of Iraq and Greece. They were symbols of wealth, royalty, and the divine. Lucky for us, jewelers now make these personal treasures more affordable and more durable than ever. But you may be surprised to learn what they put in the gold to make it better. Pure gold is fairly soft and bright yellow, so it's common to create an alloy to strengthen it and alter its color. Copper lends a reddish hue, and brass helps the alloy melt more quickly than gold and copper would alone. Depending on the ratio, adding these metals produces 14 or 18 karat gold. They melt the mix in a crucible at 1,010 degrees Celsius. Just three of these scoops are enough to make about 5,000 14 karat gold chains. A worker pours the molten alloy into a casting machine. Water cools the metal to around 370 degrees Celsius, solidifying it. The metal passes through a round die, which shapes it into a golden rod that's nearly two meters long. After cutting the rod in half, workers pass it through what's called a breakdown mill. The machine reshapes the rod from round to square, so it'll be easier to stretch. Next stop, a tandem mill. It's got 12 rollers that stretch the rod until it's about as thin as a piece of spaghetti. As it emerges, rollers shape the rod into a coil that's 24 meters long. Workers soften the coiled metal in an oven. Then they uncoil and continue stretching what's now a wire by passing it through a die lined with industrial diamonds. To prevent overheating, the machine sprays lubricant to cool the wire while reducing it to the width of a human hair, its final size. The wire then winds into a nearly 2,800 meter long spool. Next, they unwind 32 of the spools and run the wires through another oven to soften them even more. Just in case you're thinking working here is a golden opportunity, you should know that security is very tight. Employees must pass through metal detectors before going home, and wearing jewelry to work is strictly forbidden. This machine makes what's called cable chain. It passes wire through a link and closes it to make another link. The machine makes 600 links per minute. Here, a worker does a random quality check. This machine makes a chain in what's called a Venetian style. The wire passes through a channel where mechanical jaws bend it over a die to make a link with the preceding segment. To make what's called a spider style, this machine passes a wire through up to five loops before closing the link. For a Figaro style chain, this machine makes three short links before a mechanical arm moves the chain to another area to add one longer link. The arm then moves it back to add three more short links. The simplest style is what's called a rope chain. To make it, this machine threads a wire through as many as two loops, then closes it to make another loop. They coat the finished chains with a lubricating powder that prevents the links from sticking to each other during the next step, when they heat the chains to 815 degrees Celsius. This activates a soldering agent added to the metals earlier. It fuses the ends of the links to each other. This machine welds a link to a clasp on the chain. A tag indicating the gold quality goes onto the clasp. Finally, the chains go through four chemical baths, which thoroughly clean them. Then workers plate them with a layer of 14 or 18 karat gold. Plating gold with gold creates a more vibrant finish. After one last quality check, 
These chains are ready to dazzle their way to a neckline near you.